Hello and welcome to Accounting 102. So this lecture video is an overview of the course. I'm going to talk about Canvas. I'm going to talk about your syllabus, your schedule, and of course Canvas as you can see right over here. How to get to the homework on McGraw-Hill Connect and also how to get to your electronic textbook which is on McGraw-Hill Connect and how to access McGraw-Hill Connect. And then I'll also give a short bio so you can kind of get a feel for my background and also why I teach this course, okay? So why don't we go ahead and start off with the short bio. So this is a presentation that I have right over here all about Professor Henderson. So I graduated from Mary Washington College, U University of Mary Washington, used to be called Mary Washington College, as you may know, in 1995, BA in Economics, BS in Business Administration with an emphasis in accounting. I worked for electronic data systems from 1995 until year 2000. Electronic data systems, abbreviated EDS, was started by Ross Perot in the uh, late 1960s or so. And the interesting thing about Ross Perot is he actually ran for president. He was on the presidential ticket as an independent and I believe in the 1992 election, of course, he lost to Bill Clinton, but he was on the ticket as an independent and uh, he had started electronic data systems. By the time I started there in 1995, he had since left and EDS was actually part of General Motors. And then in 1996, EDS spun off into its own company. I started off as a financial analyst, and then I moved into an information system support role, uh, supporting other financial analysts within EDS. Uh, EDS was a technology consulting company, so like I said, I was a financial analyst for a while, and then I went through an internal training and development program to become a information systems person within the company. I also went at night to George Washington University from 1996 or so until year 2000 to work on a master's in information systems. I graduated in year 2000. And then from 2000 and 2001, I left EDS to go to Siebel Systems and Siebel has been since acquired by Oracle, but it's similar to Oracle. And I left and I was doing customer relationship management implementations from year 2000 to 2001. It's a great job, but a lot of travel, which isn't good when you're married. So I, uh, I came back to EDS with a raise and a promotion in September 2001. I started teaching business courses at night at George Washington University, their continuing studies program. And I also taught business courses at night and at weekends at Trinity University in D.C., in 2003, I quit EDS to enroll in a PhD at Virginia Tech in accounting. I was enrolled at Virginia Tech from 2003 to 2007. That was a full-time deal. And so I commuted from my house in Springfield down to Blacksburg uh, and then came back on the weekends from 2003 to 2007. I graduated in September 2007, and I started my first academic job at the College of Charleston in 2008. At the College of Charleston, I taught principles of accounting accounting information systems, and IT auditing courses. I left Call to Charleston in December 2011, and I returned to Mary Washington, uh, my, my alma mater, in January 2012. And here I teach principles of accounting. I teach accounting information systems. I teach a course for an MBA course for accounting for decision-making and, and control. And I also teach, of course, I'm a huge soccer fan. So the business of UK football, of soccer, of course. And there I taught, I've also taught research methods at Alto University in the Mikuli campus. This is in Finland in fall 2014 and fall 2015. And like I said, I teach this business of UK football. And that is a study abroad course. Over spring break, we go to England and we tour stadiums and we... We watch matches and we visit with club officials. And so that's a lot of fun. Um, and the whole point of the course is to analyze football, soccer from a business perspective. As I said, I'm a huge soccer fan. This is my basement. You can see some of my scarves right there and my flags. This is me being interviewed on the pitch at Blackburn Rovers, more scarves. Here's some pictures of my house. I live pretty close to campus in Clearview Heights. Uh, right off Butler Road, and I do have a pool, which is fantastic right now, especially uh, for the 
COVID-19 summer where there's no summer summer camps or anything like that. So my daughter right over here gets to go swimming a lot and she is a swimmer. So she's in that pool just about every day. And this is my wife outside of Carl's and I have two dogs. This is Chloe and then this is Minnie. Okay. So that's a little bit about me. Um, why don't we go ahead and take a look at Canvas, okay? So under Canvas, you'll see this is this is a home page, and you'll see some announcements, and you'll see this first announcement. And then I will use announcements quite a bit. I will use your grades. This is where I'll post your grades right over here. I'll post your grades right over there. And then I will also use I don't put the quizzes I don't do any quizzes up on canvas I don't use the syllabus up on canvas files so files if you go to files to find the syllabus and then the course notes and all that other stuff you're gonna find a lot of old files okay because why is that eh, I'm a little lazy what I do is to set up this course which is for the summer is I copy it from a prior course and then I just upload new files and make uh, changes where appropriate. So if you go to files, you might see some syllabi from a couple of years ago. So what you want to do is you want to go to modules. Okay, so modules right over here. Um, and so this contains all the course content right over here under modules. All right. So the other thing that we'll be using in Canvas is conferences. And so I'll have some separate lecture videos that cover that tell you how to access the conferences feature. But once a week, we will have a conference in Canvas, which is like a live synchronous session. And during that conference, I'll go over some important course announcements. I'll also review some homework and then some additional problems as well. So you want to make sure you attend those conferences as much as you can. So let's go ahead and look at the uh, syllabus and then you have the schedule right over here and then the connect instructions as well. So when you look at the syllabus, I'll go ahead and bring that up. I don't know what's going on there. Okay, there we go. Got it up. So here's your here's your here's your syllabus. So court accounting 102, fundamental accounting principles and practices. This course is 100% online. Okay, accounting is the language of business, and this course introduces the student to that language. Um, accounting 101 focused a lot on financial accounting, journal entries. It focused on the generation of financial statements, you know, the income statement, the balance sheet, and how we recorded a lot of different transactions. We do some of that in Accounting 102. In Chapters 14 and 15 and a little bit of 16 and some in 19 and 20, we do return to some journal entries. and We talked about the financial statements, but a lot more of this course, more of this course is devoted towards managerial accounting not financial accounting so managerial accounting is focused on using accounting information to make business decisions so an example would be if we increase advertising for mary washington mary washington for example increases advertising and enrollment increases 10 percent is that bump in enrollment worth the advertising cost so it's those types of business decisions that we discuss that we really focus on in this course as opposed to recording transactions and generating financial statements. That was more accounting 101. Accounting 102 is using this information to make business decisions. And that's frankly why this is probably my favorite course to teach because it's a blend of accounting, some management, a little bit of marketing, and also some economics. And so it's very interdisciplinary and it's focused on making good business decisions which is why this course i think is also so important for for business majors even if you never want to become an accountant you still need to know questions such as you know if you're running a bike shop in downtown fredericksburg how many bikes do i need to sell in order to break even i need to know that even if you never want to be an accountant and you just want to own a bike shop those are the questions that we will help answer in this course, okay? 
So as I've talked about just a little bit so far, Canvas is what we use for this course, and I'll post the syllabus to schedule class notes up on Canvas. Um, the primary teaching method will be lecture videos posted up on Canvas, and so I will review those here in a second. Uh, watch these lecture videos in a timely fashion. Uh, don't wait till the night before the exam to watch all the lecture videos. And I also have two sets of lecture videos. They cover the same material. One is the lecture videos are longer and they cover about maybe an hour to an hour and a half and that whole video covers one chapter. That's one set of lecture videos. The second set of lecture videos are shorter and what they've done is they've broken up the chapter content into 15 minute chunked videos, okay? So you're just, it's your decision which one you wanna use, but there are two sets of lecture videos, okay? And we, I will show you how to access these lecture videos on Canvas. Office hours, since this is an online course, I don't have scheduled office hours per se. I'll be available for questions though on an ad hoc basis as you need help. Um, I'm pretty available. I will get back to you very quickly. You can email me. Here's my email, dhender3 at umw.edu. I would not call me on my office phone. I'm in the office some, but not really a whole lot. Uh, better to reach me on my cell phone or text me on my cell phone or contact me via email. Continuing on with the syllabus right over here, announcements. I will use announcements and I'll post, you know, frequent announcements and kind of announcements of encouragement and reminders saying be sure to do the quiz, you know, be sure to watch these lecture videos, that kind of stuff on the announcements, okay? Uh, grades, I'll use that to record your grades for the exams. You will know your grades for the quizzes. McGraw-Hill Connect, which is where you'll do your quizzes, will give you your grades for your quizzes. Modules, as you can see right over there, as I discussed earlier, this is where I'll have all the course notes, registration information for McGraw-Hill Connect, uh, syllabus and schedule. All course content is under modules on Canvas, okay? And then as I was saying earlier, I'll use the conferences for our weekly synchronous sessions, okay? And so let's talk about really quickly about the point of those conferences. This will be a, a live weekly online course meeting. Uh, it will be synchronous, it will be recorded. And this gives me a chance for to reiterate important course announcements and allow you to answer, to ask questions about, uh, hey, I didn't understand this in the lecture video, can, re can you review that? Um, I'll also take that chance during the conference to review any additional homework problems um, and also to do some additional practice problems. So uh, what I would like to do is during those conferences is review the Wiley Plus homework and then, I'm sorry, the McGraw-Hill Connect homework, not Wiley Plus Connect homework, and then also do some additional problems during those conferences, okay? Um, the first one, the first conference that we have is mandatory, okay? want you to be there. Uh, the second one, the subsequent ones, highly encouraged, okay? And so I will decide, uh, I'm gonna set the date for the first one, and then after that, I will we'll kind of have some discussions among our class, like which times are best for you. And so I'll try to accommodate student availability as best I can for those subsequent weekly synchronous online meetings, okay, through conferences. All right. So in terms of required materials, you have to have your access to McGraw-Hill Connect. And then the course pack, which I'll talk about in here, I'll talk about in a, a second lecture video. Uh, you need access to high-speed internet connection. You need, you should have Microsoft Excel, Adobe Acrobat, PD, uh, Microsoft Word. Here's your grading. Homework is 15 points out of 365. You have three exams, exam one, exam two, and then the final. These are not cumulative. And then you also have chapter quizzes gives you total points right there for 365. And then we have our grading scale. I'm gonna end this lecture video now, and in the next lecture video, I'm gonna pick up where I left off right over here on the syllabus, and then also talk about the schedule and then some other components on Canvas and McGraw-Hill Connect, okay? Thanks so much.